Mary's daily routine and free time. In the morning, 12 a.m. to 12 noon. 1. Get up. 2. Take a shower. 3. Have breakfast. 4. Brush my teeth. 5. Walk to school. At noon, 12 p.m. 6. Have lunch. In the afternoon, 12 noon to 6 p.m. 7. Finish school. 8. Come back home. 9. Do my homework. 10. Go to basketball practice. In the evening, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. 11. Have dinner. 12. Watch TV. 13. Watch videos online. 14. Play video games. 15. Go to bed. Two A. Exercise one. Page thirty eight. School days in the UK. Michael gets up at seven thirty AM and has his breakfast. His best friend Ben lives next door so they walk to school together. They are in the same class at Greenwood Primary School. There are 30 students in their class. All students wear a school uniform. The students have registration at 8.45 a.m. and lessons start at 9 a.m. There is a short break at 10.30 a.m. and a lunch break at 12.30 p.m. Michael brings a packed lunch from home but Ben buys a hot school dinner from the canteen. In the afternoon, there are lessons again from 1.15 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. When school finishes, Michael and Ben have football practice because they play for the school team. At 4.30 p.m., Michael and Ben walk back home. Michael takes a shower and does his homework. He has dinner at 7 p.m. with his family. Then, he chats online. He goes to bed at 9.30 p.m. 5 o'clock 2. A quarter past five. Three. Twenty past five. Four. Half past five. Five. Twenty to six. Six. A quarter to six. Exercise five. Page 39 1. English 2. Maths 3. Science 4. Art 5. Physical Education PE 6. Geography 7. History 8. Music Exercise 6, page 39 Mondays are great. My first lesson is maths, from half past 8 until half past 9. Then it's music. Break is at half past ten. At quarter to eleven, it's English, and then it's PE.
Lunch break is from quarter to one until half past one. Then it's science until half past two. From half past two until half past three, it's art. It's my favourite school subject. Two B. Exercise 1B. Third Person Singular Pronunciation. Page 40. One. Writes. Two. Walks. Three. Watches. Four. Buys. Five eats. Six does. Seven tries. Eight finishes. C. Exercise 1. Page 42. One. Listen to music. Two. Do puzzles online. Three. Chat online. Four. Hang out with friends. 5. Play board games. 6. Do jigsaw puzzles. 7. Go to the theatre. 8. Go bowling. 9. Watch a film. 10. Go skateboarding. 11. Go to the mall. 12. Go to the amusement park. 2D. Exercise 2. Page 43. Hi, Nat. Hi, Helen. How are you? I'm OK. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Hey, are you free this afternoon? I think so. Why? Can we go to the mall? Sure, I'd love to. What time? Let's meet at four o'clock. Sorry, I can't make it at four. I have football practice at school until five. How about 5.30 then? 5.30 is fine. See you.
Pronunciation. Page 43. Three. That. Then. Thanks. Think. There. Two F, exercise one, page forty six. Fact file, nickname the Welsh Wizard, date of birth sixteenth of July nineteen eighty nine, place of birth Cardiff, Wales. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is a great footballer. He usually gets up early at 7 a.m. and goes to the gym. After that, he takes a shower and then he eats breakfast. At 9 a.m., Gareth goes to football practice. Gareth always has a lunch break at about half past one and then continues training. He has Spanish lessons twice a week. On the field, Gareth often scores goals. His nickname is the Welsh Wizard. Gareth is tall and runs very fast. When Gareth doesn't have training or a match, he plays computer games and watches DVDs or sports matches on TV. He plays golf, too. He also helps different charities that help children. His family is very important to him and he likes spending time with them. Exercise 6, page 47. My name's Miguel. I'm at Vencedoras Football Academy for two weeks. It's great fun here, but it's a lot of hard work. I get up at 7 o'clock because at half past 7, I have breakfast. At 9, I have football practice and I have lunch at half past 12. I'm usually very hungry. In the afternoon, at 2 o'clock, we all play a match. After that, I take a shower, and at half past six, I have dinner. I have some free time in the evening to watch TV or play video games, but then it's time to go to bed at half past nine. To Clear, Exercise 1, page 48. Be 
part of Green Neighbourhood Saturday on the 28th of June. Hambly Town Council is organising events all over town to raise awareness about the environmental problems in our neighbourhoods. There's lots to see and do, so join in and help make your neighbourhood green. Help plant trees for a new green space behind the town library. Let's create a relaxing place where everyone can enjoy Mother Nature. Other ways to help. Drop off all your old electrical items at the town hall. Organise a neighbourhood clean-up day and pick up litter on your street. Cut down on air pollution by leaving your car at home and walking or cycling. Let the neighbourhoods breathe easy for a day. And don't forget that going green isn't just for a day, it's a way of life. For more information, visit the Council's website. Exercise 2, page 49. Speaker 1. What does your ideal neighborhood look like? Are there nice houses with gardens and quiet streets? My ideal neighborhood is a place in the city where I can really feel comfortable and safe. It's a place with wide streets and pavements where I can walk safely. And there are lots of car parks so that people can find parking easily. Also, police officers patrol the street and make people feel safe. Older people can spend their mornings in the park, while younger ones can jog there. Children can walk or cycle to school. There are shops for people to do their shopping, and great restaurants to enjoy a meal. How does my ideal neighborhood sound to you? Would you enjoy living there? I would. Speaker 2 What does your ideal neighborhood look like? Is it in a busy city or in a quiet village? My ideal neighborhood is a quiet place in a village. There are small cottages with beautiful gardens. There are lots of trees and flowers along the streets. It is a place where neighbors know each other and talk to each other on the street. Children play happily in the streets or at the school playground or go swimming in the lake. There's a main street with nice little shops, a small cafe and a pizza house. The nearest city is a 15-minute drive. So, what do you think? Would you live in my ideal neighborhood? Progress Check 2. Exercise 9. Page 51. I live in Alaska. So my day is a bit different to most children's. First of all, I get up at 5.30 in the morning and leave my house at 6.30. That's because it takes two hours to get to school, and I don't go on the bus. There's a boat that comes along the river and picks up the students one by one. In the middle of winter, we don't have any school at all. That's because the water in the river turns into ice. Also, at that time of year, it's dark 24 hours a day. Anyway, I usually get to school at 8.30, and we leave again at 3.30 in the afternoon. When I get home, I do some work for my parents, and then we all have dinner at about 7.30. It's a tiring day, so I just chat online after that for an hour or so, and I'm in bed at 10 p.m.
Unit 3. All about food. Exercise 1B, page 52. Onions, apples, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, strawberries, potatoes, milk, fruit juice, eggs. Tea, sugar, pasta, salt, pepper, biscuits, bread, flour, butter, yogurt, cereal. Oranges, chicken, meat, crisps, coffee, fish, cheese, rice. Three A, exercise one, page fifty four. What's your favorite food? We love watching TV chefs prepare our favorite dishes, but what are their favorite foods? Oliver. Jamie likes all kinds of foods, but his favorites are bread and pasta. They are healthy and tasty. He doesn't like unhealthy sugary drinks. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon is famous for his difficult dishes, but he enjoys eating simple food at home. A meal of fish with vegetables is all it takes to make Gordon happy. It's easy to make and tastes great. Lorraine Pascal. Lorraine knows all about healthy eating. She writes books about it. People love her special recipes. Her favorite meal is one of them, Thai fish pie. It's British fish pie with flavors from Thailand. It's healthy and delicious. Three C, exercise one, page fifty eight. One, slice. Two, peel. Three, grate. Four, 
add. Five, mix. Six, chop. Seven, beat. Exercise two, page fifty eight. One knife. Two saucepan. Three bowl. Four whisk. Five cake tin. Six grater. Seven frying pan. Eight spoon. Three D exercise two, page fifty nine. This cake is delicious. Thanks. It's my grandma's recipe. Is it easy to make? Yes. First of all, beat the butter and sugar. Next, break the eggs and add them to the bowl one at a time. Then. Mix some more, and then, then, use a spoon to mix in the flour, milk, and baking powder, and pour it into the cake tin. Finally, slice the strawberries and add them to the cake tin. How long do you bake it for? For forty minutes at two hundred and twenty degrees Celsius. Wow, it sounds simple. It really is. Intonation, word stress, page fifty nine. Apple, chicken, cereal, tomato, pepper, onion, coffee. Lemon. Three F. Exercise one, page sixty-two. Street food around the world. A. Fish and chips. A very popular street food in the UK is fish and chips. Vendors take the fish, usually cod or haddock, and cover it in batter before they fry it in very hot oil. Then they use some special paper to wrap the fish and chips. People usually put salt and vinegar on their fish and chips. It's really tasty. B, hot dogs. In many cities in the USA, people love eating hot dogs. A hot dog is a sausage in a bun. There are hot dog carts on almost every street. 
The vendors usually steam the sausages and warm the buns up in a special oven. People then put their favorite toppings on their hot dogs. Some popular toppings are mustard, ketchup, onions, and relish. Many people also add some red pepper to make it spicy. Hot dogs are delicious. Exercise 7, page 63. 1. What's Paul's favorite food? What's for dinner, Dad? Not chicken again, I hope. No, it's your favorite, Paul. Hot dogs. Hot dogs aren't my favorite food anymore. So what is? Ever since we got that lovely fish in Brighton, I can't stop thinking about it. Two. What does Anne want to drink? Do you want something to drink, Anne? How about a glass of this lovely apple juice? No thanks, it's too cold outside for juice. Could I have a nice hot cup of tea? Of course. Do you want some milk in that? No thanks, black is fine. Sugar? Just a little please. Half a teaspoon. Three. What does Lynn need to buy? Have you got everything you need for dinner, Rory? Why, Lynn? Are you going to the supermarket? Yes, I am. I have to get some apples for the pie tomorrow. Well, I've got the onions for the soup and cucumbers for the salad. So, I think I'm okay. Okay, see you later. Three Clill. Exercise 1. Page 64. Eat Well Guide. Check out the Eat Well Guide for healthy eating habits. Bread, rice, potatoes, pasta and cereal give us energy to get through the day. Fruit and vegetables have got lots of vitamins. They help us stay fit and healthy. Beans, fish, meat and eggs give us the protein we need to grow big and strong. Oils and spreads have got lots of fat but are good for us in small amounts. Milk, yogurt, butter and cheese have got lots of calcium to help our bodies grow strong bones and teeth. Drinks, water, fruit juice, tea help us stay healthy. We need six to eight glasses every day. Biscuits, crisps, cake, sweets and chocolate are very unhealthy, so don't eat them often.
Progress check three. Exercise seven. Page sixty-seven. One. What is Mary's favorite food? What's for dinner, Mary? It's my favorite. Oh, what's that? Burgers? No, that's your favorite. Don't tell me it's fish. I can't stand fish. No, it's pizza. Great. Two. What does Tony want to eat? Come on, Tony. Let's have an ice cream. No thanks. I'm really hungry. Do you want to get a burger instead then? No, I prefer to have a sandwich. Okay, let's go to the cafe. Three. What do they order? I'm hungry. Let's order. What do you like, pizza or burgers? I want pizza. How about you? Yes, me too. Do you want chips with it? Not really. I want a dessert. Ice cream or apple pie? Ice cream. Four. What is Anna's favorite food? Mmm, chicken. Do you like chicken, Becky? Not really, Anna. I prefer red meat, and I can't stand fish. I don't like fish either, but chicken, yummy. Review. Units 1 to 3. Exercise 3. Page 69. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm 12 years old. On Saturdays, I am usually very busy. I get up at 8 o'clock and I have breakfast. At 10 o'clock, I have football practice until 11.30. Then I come back home and have lunch with my family at 1 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, I go to the mall with my friend Kelly. We like going shopping. Sometimes we watch a film at the cinema or go bowling. You can do lots of different things at the mall. At half past 7, we always meet my parents at Marco's and have pizza. Then my parents take Kelly back to her house and we go home. Saturday is always a great day. It's my favorite day of the week. Unit 4 Holidays Exercise 1, page 70 Winter December, January, February. Make a snowman. Go skiing. Go sledging. Spring, March, April, May. Have a barbecue. Have a picnic. Take a bike ride. Summer, June, July, August.
Go sightseeing. Go to the beach. Go sailing. Autumn, September, October, November. Pick pumpkins. Visit museums. Go camping. Four A, exercise three, page seventy three. It's hot. It's warm and sunny. It's cloudy. It's raining. It's snowing. It's cold. Exercise five, page seventy three. Holiday fun. Hi, Tony. We're having a great time in Paris, France. Today is the fourteenth of July. It's Bastille Day, and people are celebrating it with parties and parades. They hang flags everywhere and dress up. It's warm and sunny here. Oh, guess what? There are fireworks at midnight. I can't wait to watch them. See you soon, Cheryl. Hi, Susan. I'm writing to you from Hanoi. People here are celebrating Tet, the Lunar New Year. Locals decorate their houses with colorful flowers, and family members eat together and visit relatives. Children usually get money in a red envelope as a present from their parents or elder relatives. Right now, we are eating ban chong. This is a steamed square cake. It is delicious. We are going to see a lion dance performance later. See you next week, Katie. Four C, exercise one, page seventy six. One, F, belt. Two, O, cap. Three, J, gloves. Four, B, scarf. Five D leggings six R trainers seven L boots eight E shoes nine K socks ten I. T-shirt. 
Eleven. P. Shirt. Twelve. N. Jumper. Thirteen. M. Shorts. Fourteen. C. Skirt. Fifteen. G. Dress. Sixteen. Q. Jeans. Seventeen. H. Jacket. Eighteen. A. Hat. Four D, exercise two, page seventy seven. Wow, I love it here in Moscow. The sights are amazing. Yes, they are, but my hands are freezing. Why don't you put on your gloves? I haven't got them with me. Here, take mine. I've always got an extra pair in my bag. Thanks. No problem. Um, Helen, what's wrong now? My head is cold too. Have you got a hat in your bag? No, I haven't. I know. Let's ask Nat for his. He's always got one in his bag. Good idea. Thanks. Intonation in exclamations, page seventy seven. Sounds great. Sounds great. Good idea. Good idea. Thanks. Thanks. Four F, exercise one, page eighty. Holiday. Hi, Peter. Greetings from the island of Puerto Rico. We're staying in a hotel next to the beach. 
it's hot and sunny, and we go swimming every day. Right now, I'm sitting in a cafe with my family. Tomorrow, we're going to visit the El Yunque National Rainforest. Lots of plants and animals live there, and it's got waterfalls, lakes, and rivers too. Mario. Hi, Mario. Hello from Cairns, Australia. We're staying in a fantastic resort near the sea. The weather is cold but sunny. Today, we're going to the Great Barrier Reef on a boat with a glass bottom so we can look at all the fish. Tomorrow, we're going on a trek in the rainforest. I can't wait. Sam. Exercise 6, page 81. Hi, Angela. How are you? Hi, Lisa. I'm fine. I'm on holiday with my family in New Zealand. It's near Australia. Is it hot there? Not really. It's sunny in the mornings, but it rains every day in the afternoon. Where are you staying? In Tongariro National Park. Our hotel is in the rainforest. It's amazing. What do you do there? In the mornings, we go on treks to see lakes and waterfalls. We see lots of different animals, trees, and plants too. Maybe we can meet when I get back. We can look at my photos. That sounds great. See you then. For Clear, Exercise 1, page 82. Welcome to Sunnyvale Campsite. Follow these tips for a safe and healthy camping trip. 1. Food. Pack your food in tightly closed containers and keep it in your cool box so it doesn't get contaminated. 2. Fires. Campfires are allowed between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. Attend the fire all the time and make sure you put it out with water. 3. Pets. Pets are welcome, but they must be on a leash. 4. Wild animals. Stay away from them. Don't feed or touch them because they can carry dangerous diseases. 5. First aid kit. You are welcome to bring your own, but the campsite has its own medical center. 6. Cleanliness. Keep the campsite clean and tidy. Stay safe and happy camping. Progress Check 4. Exercise 9. Page 85. I'm on holiday in the city of Porto. It's on the coast of Portugal, and our resort is right by the sea. The weather is lovely. It's sunny every day. I've got my jeans with me, but it's so hot I wear shorts and a t-shirt every day. I want to buy a dress to wear at dinner tonight, though. My mum is coming shopping with me later while my dad goes on a trek with his new friends. First, we're having lunch at a cafe. I'm waiting for my food now, and the view is amazing. I love it here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> 